So we have to defend our right to bear arms, not only to defend ourselves and our loved ones, but to serve as that important check on the abuse of power by an increasingly tyrannical government. We must stop the bipartisan warmongers of Washington who constantly beat their war drums, who have pushed us to the precipice of World War III and a nuclear catastrophe. Now, President Eisenhower warned us clearly in his farewell address about these people, those in Washington who bend the knee to their bosses in the military-industrial complex and then shrug their shoulders and look the other way at the costly, damaging, and potentially catastrophic consequences of their, decision, of their decisions, the cost that every one of us pays. We need leaders who are committed to peace, strength, prosperity, because we cannot be truly prosperous as a nation unless we are at peace. Unfortunately, war is sometimes necessary to defeat those who threaten the safety, security, and freedom of the American people. And as a soldier serving now for almost 21 years in our military and still serves today, I know this firsthand. But I also know that war must always be a last resort after all other avenues have been exhausted. We need leaders who are committed to upholding the rule of law, who are committed to keeping our communities safe and securing our borders.